So when Brian Penzoni, who I told you about earlier, took over as the, the supervisor, as I said, he didn't really know what he was going to do other than that he wanted to be different from the ones they had had previously. And his team, former teammates were a little skeptical and he said to them, look, none of us were happy with the way we were being managed before, right? And they all agreed, yeah, that was true. And he said, okay, so what do we stand to lose by trying a different approach? So I'm gonna try some new things. They might work, they might not work, but if they work, we are gonna have so much better a place to work. We're gonna be so much happier in our jobs. So why don't we just give it a try? Well, ultimately, his energy, his enthusiasm, and his optimism about it won people over. I was still on probation, so still within my first three months. Uh, and in those days, people didn't give a lot of feedback. So I didn't know if my boss was happy with how I was doing things or not. And I started noticing there were a lot of people wandering in and out of his office in suits, carrying briefcases, and they were about my age, and I thought, uh-oh. Maybe they're going to fire me. Maybe he's hiring somebody to replace me. Because he hadn't said anything about these people coming and going. And one day I'm there over lunch and the phone rings and I was the only one around so I answered it. And the guy on the other end said, you know, when I told him my boss wasn't there, he said, well, uh, could you just uh, ask him, I just wanted to know if he's made a decision yet about the job. Well, I felt sick to my stomach. I thought, oh my God, they really are about to fire me. I wasn't just dreaming this. So when my boss came back from lunch, I went into the, his office with the message and put it down on his desk, and then I just stood there. And, you know, first he's working away, and then he saw I was still standing there, and he looked up at me and he said, um, is there something you wanted to talk about? And I looked at him and said, I don't know, you tell me. And he looked puzzled, and then he looked at the note, and he looked at me, and he started to laugh and he said, oh my goodness, yeah, I guess I should have told you, we've decided to hire someone to help you because you're doing such a great job and we want you to be able to do more, so we're hiring someone to help you. Well, why had they not told me that in the first place? Because by not telling me that, first of all, I had spent weeks feeling sick to my stomach and worrying and probably not being at my best because I was so worried. Second of all, they lost the opportunity. I might have known the perfect person for that job. And they lost the opportunity to benefit from that. So don't hide things from your employees. There are very rare circumstances where you have to, but really make them extremely rare.